morning. Welcome back to Mike and Mike. I'm Molly Karam. In a few moments, Ole Miss head coach Hugh Freeze will join the show. He took over a program in 2011, becoming the 37th coach in the school's history. During Freeze's time at Ole Miss, the school has seen steady improvement each season. Very impressive. And they've been able to battle with the best. We know how tough. Mike and Mike, we continue with Buster only in studio this morning. Back to the baseball in two minutes. But right now, Molly Karam is here. And I... Go ahead, bounce I'm this one off us. I'm a little embarrassed, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> We're going to get a little NBA in the show, and I'm feeling a little bit like a Twitter troll right now, so let me be honest. But this story was all over the internet last night, all over Twitter, that Kevin Durant showed up to practice with an Oklahoma City Thunder keychain. That never gets old. I love how he had his players back. That was Mike Van Gundy back in 2007, defending his then quarterback, Bobby Reed, against media criticism. Molly Karam back here with you on Mike and Mike. After that rant, Gundy seemed to be a little bit more on the quiet side after his postgame outburst. And then all of a sudden yesterday, we saw Gundy back in the spotlight. Let me explain. To celebrate what would have been Stuart, what is mm -hmm. Stuart Scott's 51st birthday. Molly's got some ice cream, mm -hmm. too. I got some. We got in a baseball helmet, which is very appropriate. For Buster. Molly Karen back with you on Mike and Mike. The NBA offseason has become shorter and shorter thanks to the draft, free agency, and now the Summer League. This year's tournament took place in Vegas, and as a lot of things do in Sin City, I wouldn't know, but they got crazy. It was the perfect complement for an NBA Finals that saw its share of drama. Let's revisit the action. Take a look. I think he feels, Buster, to your point earlier, I think he feels a little bit of remorse, for, certainly for the toughest decision of his life. So obviously, I, I, I'm the same with you guys with that sentiment. I mean, initially when it happened, I thought the move was a little weak. I'm going to be honest. I tweeted right away. But yeah, I do also believe that he's he's just forgetful here. And it, it was completely innocent. But I think now he'll be very mindful that every single move he's he's now become the villain essentially of the nba in some people's eyes wow we'll all be watching well no uh, that he has for mm -hmm. other reasons not because of the keychain <laughs> no <laughs> but it doesn't help thank <laughs> you guys Karim, thank you we continue in 10 seconds buster will select his final two items in a moment but first molly Karam is here with some other thoughts, Molly? Yeah, I thought this was interesting, guys. Quite a gift for Panthers owner Jerry Richardson. He was honored with a statue of himself outside of Bank of America Stadium. It's named the Tribute. And I wanted to get your thoughts. What do you think of owners having statues? If, in fact, it came from the players. And I know some people felt like it was too much. But remember, and of course, it's still with us and we hope continues to be for a this long is time. unique, though, and it, he, he's still alive, obviously, and it being his 80th birthday. And I think in creating the statue now, I thought rather than... It, it is, you know, I mean, maybe you want him to be able to, in, in, to well, enjoy Well, that's it. what I would say. I want all tributes paid to me you while I'm living. You here August 26th, so should we start working on that? Should yes, the staff that anyone is considering. <laughs> and please don't wait until after I'm dead. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jerry. I'll defer to other people, Green. I'd love a statue. <laughs> Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Hello, I'm Molly Karam. Stephen A. Max Kellerman will be here on Monday, but in very good hands. Jonathan Coachman, the coach, and Max Bredos here today. What's up, guys? You know what? We had such rave reviews from Ooh. yesterday that as I'm driving the bar, what, we set the bar too we high set, for ourselves? I think we set the bar too high. We may have done that. We may have done that. So I'm driving to Boston last tomorrow. Really? Yeah. That's what we're going to attempt to do today. No guarantees for the so board. Gillette time. Stadium. Well, we, we kind of are. I go to work out, try to get GNR. in shape, and like get online. You this know? is rare. This you is guys rare for are me. just out and about. This is rare for me. I no, we go are. home and do nothing. It's kind of part of the reason we're here. It's because we're so big time. Yeah. Ah, so you're going to bring it. Go. I'm shooting for let's mediocre go. so I can meet expectations, <laughs> and you guys are really going for it. So we will try to deliver. Thank you All for right. being with us. Coming up, two special guests, Nick Saban, the head coach of the reigning champion Alabama Crimson Tide. He will be here. You all know him in Texas A&M's Kevin Sumlin. So be sure to stick around for that. But.